Gail, thank you so much. Back to you guys. Thanks, Lauren. We'll roll right into this next qualification match. Gear delivered by 60-53 for Red. That's going to get them the 20 bonus points. This is match number 80 of 82, so just three matches remaining in our qualifying series. And another gear delivered, so they're on their way. That should be enough for the second rotor to start spinning. Yeah, and Pink Panthers deliver another one for Red on the back side of the airship, so they're well on their way to three. So the gear is getting put into action fairly quickly here and a 40-point lead for the Red Alliance with just over a minute to go. And we see him cranking up. That's the second rotor there for Blue. It is now spinning. Tying the matchup. Little trouble here trying to get a gear loaded into this robot. So it looks like they need to be in a pretty precise position there. Here come the Pink Panthers in, but looks like Red needs two more. Panthers with one, so just one more remaining for Red, and they will have their third rotor. Some defense being played by Blue, but uh, Panthers go back into the retrieval station for another. Well, a lot of gears in that corner on the floor, on the field. Yeah, and that can be a problem for some robots. If they can't get in tight to the wall, they're no longer able to collect from the slot. Looks like both Red Alliance members now have one, so it looks like Red will get the third rotor here with 48 seconds left. Blue Alliance has caught up. It's now 95. Now they've gone ahead by five, 100 to 95, so a pretty good push. Yeah, that there was, I believe, a five-point penalty, two five-point penalties for the Red Robot. It was dragging two gears along with it. You can only control one gear at a time. They have three. Uh, so I believe that was two five red. penalties. They still need one more gear, and it looks like they may be abandoning that. They dropped one on the ground, and then the Panthers were unable to score theirs. It looks like they're giving up on the third rotor as they go to climb. Two blue robots ascending. And one lit for red, one lit for blue. Uh, and that last drop gear by the Red Alliance really uh, costing them the win. That would have been a 30-point victory. Turns into a 10-point loss, 205 to 195 by failing to get the third rotor. And we're ready with our scores from qualification match number 80. So that's a Blue Alliance win. Yeah, look at that. The penalties making the difference would have been a tie, but there were two five-point penalties against Red, winning it for Blue. Blue Alliance glad for the win, but 205 points doesn't really ring their bell, does it? That's not going to win matches this afternoon. No, uh, in the playoffs, you're going to expect to see at least three rotors spinning in every match. Only two rotors on each side in this match, each side falling a year or two short. So we're in the very final rounds. So a lot of these teams, this will be, this is their last time taking the field for, before the solidification of the rankings. And again, the top eight seeded teams will get to be the alliance captains for the alliance selection, which will happen shortly after conclusion of match 82. So a uh, busy morning here at uh, Livonia Churchill High School in Livonia. Dan Gatowski along with the Dan Kimura and Jim Zondag is to his immediate rights. And uh, again, we talk about 40 schools here today, all of them trying to get to Saginaw Valley State next weekend. Uh, most of the teams know they're going to make it there, Dan, but for the few that don't, what are they really kind of trying to emphasize and work out today? As many points as they can get. So it's the last week of our district competition. I would say that there are probably somewhere between 30 and 40 slots that are sort of on the bubble that are up for grabs this weekend. And we've probably got, you know, somewhere between five and 10 teams here that are within striking distance of those spots. Um, so they're going to get points for winning matches during the qualification rounds here. And they're going to get points based on how they get seated or picked into our playoffs this afternoon. And then, of course, if they win rounds, if they advance uh, to the semifinals or the finals or win the tournament, they're going to get more points for that. 
Uh, so that's really what these teams are focusing on here. Uh, you also get some points. We give out awards at these events, so you'll get uh, a small number of points if you win maybe a design award or a spirit award. So they're also probably looking at what they can do to convince the judges that uh, they were the best uh, at that category as well. Yeah, so uh, we're estimating like in the upper 50s, approximately, right in, I think around 59 points, we're projecting the threshold to get into states. So teams can earn up to about 75 points in an individual tournament if you're number one seed and you win. So it certainly is within the realm of possibility for even some of these lower ranked teams to garner 30 plus points out of this tournament easily if they have a good afternoon.